Hey team, a little bit different setting for our move mindset talk this week. Usually, I'm sitting down in my blue comfy chair with my pillow, chilling, and the class is rolling in the back and everything, because I love that. I love the energy. I love having the hardworking folks in the back, and we're proud of the gym over here. So welcome to the in-between hours of Bolton. I'm shooting this a little bit earlier, um, just because I have the chance to, and I really liked one of our big topics today that we're talking to the class with, and really what it boils down to of why we walk into the door. Why we walk through the door to the gym, why we even open the door to leave our house to come to the gym, and how you make those little decisions along the way to ultimately better yourself. And that's what we always get back to when it comes to these movement, uh, move mindset talks, is like, we're out here trying to get better, right? That's all we want to do. One day at a time, one rep at a time, one workout at a time. We're just trying to figure out how to get better. And it'll always be that way. You're continuously trying to do different things and learn from each one of those things and then move on from it, take what you can from it, whether it be good or bad, and then move on from it. So in today's class workout, it's, it's, not, it's not a very fancy one. We have Imam Mondays going on over here. Uh, we're doing a big Imam. It's got shuttle runs, dumbbell power snatches, and then some rowing. Just lots of rounds of that. Some good old grunt work to start the week for us. And we, we're getting on to people. Yes, it's your job as a coach to hold people to that standard. And because some people need that. They need that little reminder of why they're here. And that's what I'm going to talk to you guys about. Of why you're in here, why you're doing the reps that you're doing, because there's not one right answer for everyone, but we know we come to the gym to do shuttle runs, but it's not always about just doing shuttle runs. You didn't sign up for CrossFit just to do shuttle runs. You didn't sign up just to do burpees. You didn't sign up just to lift these heavy weights. So, when it comes to doing your workouts and building up your mindset and coming across harder days, because we all have good and bad days, we talk about that a lot with this, is remember, it's more than a shuttle run. It's more than a burpee. It's more than rowing for calories. It's more than insert any movement that you do in here, and we do a lot of them. Because ultimately, we're doing all of these movements in here to supplement the bigger picture, learn, grow, get stronger, put ourselves in so many uncomfortable situations, and then dig our way out of it. That's all a workout is, and that's why I love what we do in here, is you put yourself in such a crappy, hard situation and then you're just pulling yourself out of it. You're digging your way through it. Though every single workout that you do gets tough. But then you make it to the finish line. And it feels awesome because you know you had to dig deep within yourself to get through that. That's the beauty of all of this. So here's what we were kind of on, what we're definitely on the classes about, is this line right here. This line represents a standard. And we are so, if you ever come visit Bold, you'll notice it. We are adamant about everyone holding themselves to the standards. Because why do it if you're cutting yourself an inch short? If you're cutting yourself short on all of these movements, why are you doing that? Why do all of that hard work and get so close to finishing the rip and then you don't? Now, what I try to remind everyone before they start the workout is remember why you walked in today, remember why you're here, and remember whatever you do in here is a micro picture of everything that you do out here. So if I run to this shuttle line, and I'm like, oh, my foot kind of like almost got over the line, my hand, oh, I almost touched the ground, and then I just head back, cutting yourself short. You're selling yourself short. And here's the, the harsh reality of it. You're lying to yourself. We don't want to do that. You don't want to lie to yourself because then that creates doubt. 
that creates insecurities and that heavy, heavy crap to hold on you. When you work hard and you hold yourself to the standard, I clearly run past this line, I touch the ground, I head on back, no one can question that I did the hard work, not even myself. Man, your thoughts, your emotions, everything becomes so much lighter because you don't have anything to worry about. I want you guys to really realize that. And I need to take, take this into a whole nother episode of Move Mindset of the idea of insecurities and what we all need to really understand. We're always gonna be fighting those things. Everybody has their own insecurities. But how to lighten them, how to toss some of them off of your weight vest. You don't want a heavy weight vest full of insecurities. It's terrible, it's terrible. We all go through it, we all, they all like to try to pile on us and weigh us down a little bit. But one thing we can start doing with all of that is really just hold yourself to a standard. Hold yourself to the standard of all of your movements in here. When I do a dumbbell snatch, both heads of the dumbbell touch the ground. I don't touch my body with my off hand. That leads to good, solid movement. That leads to building proper strength, and that leads to no doubt. No doubt that you did the work. No doubt that you got better from it. No doubt that you are getting stronger. Here, here, getting stronger in this building, you're getting stronger for every situation out there, and there's no doubt that you can handle yourself out there. That's the coolest part of all of this, is when you do all the work, you don't have to worry about anything. When you perform to the best of your ability that day, and just plain work hard, that's all you can do. Whatever wants to happen on the side of that is gonna happen. But that's the one thing you can control. We talked about it last week. Do the reps, do the work. And now this episode kind of piles on that. Just hold yourself to the standard. Don't just do the work. Yes, we want you to do the work, but do it to the best of your ability and then you don't have anything to worry about. We just take that one day at a time. Keep challenging yourself, keep pushing yourself, but always hold yourself to that standard of, I run across this line, I tap the ground. Hold yourself to the standard of, when I walk out that door, I'm gonna work my butt off, I'm gonna be true to myself, and do the work, and believe in it, and you got nothing to worry about. That's what's really cool. So realize when you do every single workout, every single rep that you do in here translates out there. So put your effort in right here. So it goes out there, so it follows you out there. Don't lie to yourself, don't cut yourself short, do the reps, hold yourself to the standard, and you feel good. You feel really good because of it. That's what I got for you guys today for move mindset. Hope you guys are liking these. I love chatting with you guys. This is where these in between hours of the gym and I, I train by myself a good bit. I'm lost in all these thoughts. I get, I have all of these thoughts all the time. So it's good to talk to you guys and I hope it helps you guys really take training and take life to the next level. Hold yourself to those standards. Believe in yourself, do the work. That's what I got for you guys. I'll see you guys next week for move mindset, but keep an eye out for all those other videos coming your way. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.